When we pose deep questions about the history of our planet Earth or the origin of life, we often receive answers that are incredibly complex and mysterious. In prehistoric times, there was an era that gave rise to interesting and often disturbing creatures, stretching the limits of our current imagination. Today, we will delve into the depths of time to discover a series of strange and frightening creatures, from the most primitive life forms on our planet to the grand ancestors of dinosaurs. Approximately 9 billion years after the Big Bang, one of the greatest mysteries of the known universe, a series of events led to the birth of Earth about 4.6 billion years ago. Initially, a cloud of gas and dust condensed to form a solar system. Then, within this system, a mass settled into its own orbit and solidified as it cooled. This mass is what we call Earth. In Earth's early years, due to intense volcanic activity, falling asteroids and extreme temperatures, an environment suitable for life could not form. However, over time, the Earth began to cool and stabilize. Gradually, seas formed and the proportion of oxygen in the atmosphere increased. Eventually, about 3.5 billion years ago, this environment conducive to life began to host Earth's first simple life forms. These creatures were simple single-celled organisms, a type of prokaryotes. Known generally as bacteria and archaea, these life forms still remain among the most common life forms on Earth. However, in those times, these simple organisms dominated life on the planet. They laid the foundation for more complex life forms by contributing to the release of oxygen into the atmosphere. This period is of utmost importance as it marks the first steps of life from simplicity towards complexity. We've explored the first stage when life on Earth began to grow complex, seeing how simple single-celled organisms created an environment. Now, we take the next step on the evolutionary stage, leading us to the Ediacaran period, where more complex and diverse creatures emerged and dominated the Earth's seas. Once, the Earth was a vast world of oceans, filled predominantly with microscopic life forms. But about 635 to 542 million years ago, during the Ediacaran period, some creatures transformed and gained more complex structures. These creatures are considered the ancestors of more complex organisms known today, such as dinosaurs and modern animals. However, Ediacaran period creatures were vastly different from today's life forms and present a complete mystery to us. Among the creatures that emerged during this period, the most well-known is Dickinsonia. Dickinsonia was an organism that typically had a flat, oval shape with a distinct series of grooves along its body. Their sizes could range from a few inches to one yard, and some scientists believe that Dickinsonia was an animal. But besides Dickinsonia, there were a series of other strange creatures during this period. These included Charnia, a multicellular organism with hundreds of tube-like protrusions, and even weirder rangemorphs that could come in many different forms. These creatures lived in the Earth's seas, and some even shaped their environments. The Ediacaran biota represent a stunning period in the evolution of the first complex creatures. This period was when life in the seas began to complexify, laying the groundwork for the emergence of larger and more complex creatures in the future. Even today, many questions remain about what exactly these creatures were and how they lived. But their existence demonstrates just how ancient the complexity and diversity of life on this planet are. After the mysterious sea creatures of the Ediacaran period, the next curtain of the evolutionary stage opens, presenting us with further complexity and diversity. Here comes the Cambrian explosion and the first super predator of its era, Anomalocaris. The sudden seeming surge in the diversity of life and almost all ancestors of modern animals trace back to this period known as the Cambrian explosion, which occurred roughly 541 to 485 million years ago. The Cambrian period is a turning point in animal evolution because many new and unique species emerged during this time. One of the most intriguing creatures that lived during this period was Anomalocaris, perhaps the first real super predator. Named after the meaning strange shrimp, Anomalocaris stood out with its body structure that could extend up to one yard and had ring-shaped segments. It had giant eyes, a flexible mouth structure, and long hook-like arms for catching prey. These features may have made it one of the most effective predators of its time. Anomalocaris was a typical creature of the Cambrian period. Various and complex life forms exploded during this period, which is considered the fastest increase in diversity throughout evolutionary history. 
The existence of creatures like Anomalocaris illustrates how dynamic and diverse this period was. With the Cambrian explosion, the seas teemed with life, but this was just the beginning. The Ordovician period, which followed the Cambrian, represents another step in the evolution of life. Meet the sea monsters of this period, the Orthocones. The Ordovician period, from about 485 to 443 million years ago, witnessed a first in world history. This period was a time when the animal kingdom continued to diversify, and one of the most intriguing creatures was the giant sea cephalopods, known as orthocones. These giants could grow up to seven yards, and with their conical shells, highly developed eyes, and long arms, they became the feared predators of the seas. However, the orthocones stood out not just for their terrifying size, but also their complex anatomies and hunting techniques. These giants used a system of gas-filled chambers inside their shells to provide mobility and conserve energy. This not only gave them superior maneuverability underwater, but also enabled them to save energy. After the orthocones ruled the depths of the seas, a terrestrial species took the center stage on the evolutionary scene. After the reign of the gigantic sea creatures that lived in the depths of the vast oceans that covered the entire world, the Silurian period had to come to reveal the threats and mysteries of terrestrial life. The period is recognized by a distinct horror figure, the Eurypterids, otherwise known as giant scorpions. The Silurian period, which spanned from about 443 million to 419 million years ago, was a time when terrestrial life began to diversify and evolve rapidly. Perhaps the most iconic and terrifying creatures of this period were the giant water scorpions known as Eurypterids. They proved themselves as super predators with their ability to move comfortably on land and in water. The Eurypterids, with their bodies stretching up to three yards, clawed front limbs, and armored exoskeletons presented a truly terrifying sight. Their sharp claws that could quickly capture and kill their prey, and their strong armor that protected them from enemies made them the biggest threat in their environment. Giant water scorpions ruled underwater and on land, taking their place among the most impressive and terrifying creatures in natural history. However, the dominance of the Eurypterids shows that life on Earth is constantly evolving and changing. Later, the end of the Eurypterids heralded the birth of the world's next big predator. Now we are moving into the Devonian period, a period when new and deadly predators like Dunkleosteus emerged. With the end of the rule of giant scorpions on land and in the seas, a new period and a new terrifying creature were waiting at the door. The Devonian period existed from about 419 million to 359 million years ago, and during this time, marine life was once again at the center of the evolutionary process. Many new species found their place in different regions of the ecosystem, but none were as frightening and powerful as the Dunkleosteus. The Devonian is known as the Age of Fish. Armored, with a strong jaw structure and reaching lengths up to seven yards, Dunkleosteus was trying to prove itself in this new era as the feared predator of the seas. Dunkleosteus was the largest representative of the Placoderms, a type of armored fish. It had a frightening appearance, equipped with a gigantic fin on its back and a hard armor covering the whole head. However, what truly made it deadly was its sharp and strong jaws. These jaws had the power to easily pierce the shell or armor of prey, and this made Dunkleosteus the most feared predator of the seas. However, although Dunkleosteus was the biggest and most dangerous predator of its time, the period in which it lived was on the verge of change. The world was moving towards the Carboniferous period. This new period marked the rise of a species of creature never seen before, giant insects. As each period had its own icons of horror, in the Carboniferous period, giant insects called Arthropleura would take over the stage. Welcome to the Carboniferous period, the era of giant insects, especially the Arthropleura. The Carboniferous period occurred approximately 359 million to 299 million years ago and was a significant point in the evolution of terrestrial animals, particularly giant insects and giant ferns. The climate during this period was hot and humid, providing an atmosphere rich in oxygen. These conditions created an ideal environment for the development of large and complex life forms. At this point, the remarkably emerging Arthropleura became a part of the terrestrial ecosystem. Arthropleura is considered the largest insect of the prehistoric ages. 
This giant insect could grow up to three yards in length and has a rather intimidating appearance compared to today's largest bugs. Although it appears to be a terrifying creature with its giant size and strange appearance, it is believed that Arthropleura was actually a harmless herbivore. Its large size protected it from the attacks of predators, while the oxygen-rich atmosphere and extensive vegetation allowed it to reach this size. Towards the end of the Devonian period, the level of oxygen in the atmosphere decreased, which brought an end to the Arthropleura. However, their reign was about to give way to an even more terrifying species. The Permian period was to witness the emergence of mammal-like reptiles such as the Gorgonopsids. With a drop in atmospheric oxygen levels and the gradual convergence of continents, conditions of life underwent a transformation, paving the way for the evolution of new and diverse species. Welcome to the Permian period, the era of early mammal-like reptiles. Spanning approximately from 299 to 252 million years ago, this period witnessed the emergence of what is considered to be among the most fearsome creatures that inhabited the Earth, the Gorgonopsids. These creatures were the first reptiles bearing anatomical similarities to mammals, making them one of the planet's most fascinating beings. Capable of growing up to two yards, the Gorgonopsids boasted large, powerful jaws and sharp teeth. In fact, their teeth were so big that they could be seen even when their mouths were closed. They were the planet's first large predators and dominated their era. However, the end of the Permian period signaled a massive catastrophe for the planet. Known as the Permian-Triassic Extinction Event, nearly 95% of the planet's life was wiped out during this period. Although this apocalyptic event led to the evolution of new species in subsequent periods, the Gorgonopsids couldn't survive this disaster and were erased from the stage of history. Yet, their extinction gave rise to a new lineage of creatures on Earth. The Triassic period was an era where terrifying predators like Postosuchus evolved, signaling the advent of an epic filled with dinosaurs. The Triassic period, which spanned approximately 252 to 201 million years ago, was when the ancestors of dinosaurs evolved and eventually became the dominant life forms on Earth. Thus, before the dinosaurs even graced the stage, carnivorous reptiles like the Postosuchus roamed the planet. The Postosuchus, named from Greek origins meaning posts crocodile, aptly describes its formidable nature. This colossal predator, reaching lengths of approximately four to five yards, could move on all fours or run bipedally. Its strong jaws and sharp teeth enabled it to effectively capture and kill its prey. Postosuchus and other similar reptiles remained the largest predators on Earth until the end of the Triassic period. However, by the end of this period, Earth was once again on the verge of transformation. Roughly 200 million years ago, another mass extinction took place, setting the stage for the emergence of Earth's future rulers, the dinosaurs. But what truly captivated attention was the origin of these mighty creatures, the dinosaurs. The answer lay within the archosaurs, or more broadly, the ruling reptiles. Dinosaurs are a part of the Avameda Tarsalia, a subdivision of the archosaurs group. Archosaurs encompass a broad array of creatures including birds, crocodiles, and of course dinosaurs. One of their most distinctive features is their foot structure. Archosaurs were the first large reptiles to walk by supporting their weight on two or three toes, providing them with a more agile and efficient mode of locomotion. Towards the end of the Triassic period, archosaurs diversified further, ultimately evolving into Earth's most terrifying creatures, the dinosaurs. The ancestors of dinosaurs were small, fast, generally carnivorous creatures that moved on two legs. Over time, these creatures reached colossal sizes, dominating Earth for millions of years. The emergence of the first dinosaurs led to the evolution of numerous different species, initiating what we now refer to as the Mesozoic Era, the Age of Dinosaurs. This period, characterized by dinosaurs, witnessed the rise of some of the world's most iconic and impressive creatures. However, these creatures could only reign until another mass extinction event in our planet's history. As we wrap up this segment of prehistoric Earth, we gain a deeper understanding of the creatures we've encountered and the significance of their existence. From the archosaurs, the ancestors of dinosaurs, to the giant orthocones, from the Anomalocaris that emerged as the first super predator during the Cambrian explosion, to the mammal-like reptiles, the Gorgonopsids of the Permian period, these creatures were the rulers of their time. Each one was shaped and developed as a result of evolution and Earth's changing conditions. 
Each one contributed to the cycle of extinction and rebirth, a perpetual circle of life. And perhaps most importantly, each one added a piece to the story of life as we understand it. Thank you for sharing this journey into the history of life with us. See you next time.